member from Windsor West. Speaker, my question is for the Minister of Training, Colleges and Universities. Our government understands that we need to continue to strengthen our economy and position our province to create and attract more jobs. This means we need to protect the services that Ontarians need most, including our support to help unemployed older workers get back on their feet. Speaker, that's the only way we can continue on the positive trend that the employment numbers have shown this morning. Half of all jobs created in Canada were in Ontario. Our focus on job creation and employment is working. Speaker, the Targeted Initiative for Older Workers, or TAO, is an important program that helps my constituents upgrade their skills and work experience for unemployed workers aged 55 Question. to 64. Speaker, through you to the Minister, is the Minister still committed to supporting older workers through TAO? Thank you. Minister of Training, College and University. Thank you uh, very much, Mr. Speaker. And I, I want to uh, thank the member from Windsor West and also recognize the extraordinary leadership she has provided, not just as an MPP, but, uh, but as a lifetime of, of service as the Executive Director of Employment and Social Services for the City of Windsor. We are very lucky to have such an informed voice in this House, Mr. Speaker. Um, this is a challenging program because it is a program for smaller communities and rural Ontario. This funding under this program, under agreement with the federal government, is restricted to communities of under $250,000. Uh, as has happened with so many other things, Mr. Speaker, this program is being severely curtailed uh, by the federal government, our principal funding partner. Uh, this will hit hard uh, smaller and rural communities who are struggling. They don't have uh, some of the cranes and the intensity of economic development that we have in some of our larger cities, Mr. Speaker. So I'm hoping all members will take time Thank to put you. some pressure on the federal government to come to the table on this agreement. Supplementary. Speaker, the uh, minister has mentioned that thousands of older workers continue to be ineligible for the TAO program because of its eligibility criteria. I would like to join the minister in calling on the federal government to support hard-working Ontario families. As the former Director of Employment and Social Services in Windsor, I certainly know the benefits of this program and all the, uh, and all the retraining and supportive programming that we have available. We need the official opposition to cooperate with our government so that we don't trigger an unnecessary election that would further harm the economy and put our families at risk. We should be putting the interests of Ontarians ahead and work forward on our five-year plan to balance the budget. Speaker, through you to the minister, what is the minister doing to ensure that all Ontarians have access to employment services? Thank, thank you, Mr. Speaker. We are, um, we are committing with, we are continuing with our commitment, which is over $1 billion, Mr. Speaker. Uh, this provides 170 service providers with 327 funded service delivery sites. Uh, so far in the last fiscal year, Mr. Speaker, we have served over 610,000 Ontarians. Wow. Um, well done. In addition to that, Mr. Speaker, our colleges and universities are driving about an 86 per cent employment rate upon completion. And it was mentioned earlier that we have 46,000 new jobs this month alone, Mr. Speaker. One could say that might be an aberration, except since June 2009, Answer. we have had 345,000 jobs, over half of all the jobs created. That's a successful job strategy if I've ever heard of Thank one, you. Mr. Speaker. Absolutely. Thank you. Well